Revit has an interesting trick that allows us to be able to space our windows evenly, either on a wall or inside of a space. Here's the trick. I'm going to zoom in on this building in the upper right-hand side of our screen. And I want to space our windows evenly along this wall. Underneath the Annotate tab, we're going to select on the Align Dimension. So pick Align. You'll notice it has Wall Center Line as an option. We don't want that. We're going to change this to be Wall Faces instead. And Individual References is exactly what we want to have. What we're going to do with this dimension is we're going to pick the outside face of the wall. We're then going to click where the center of the window shows up. Click again where the center of the window shows up. And then click on the outside face of the wall. This next part is fairly important. Move your mouse up and then click somewhere out here in space without selecting on anything else. When you do that, you'll have this dimension string coming all the way across and a little EQ with a line going through it. This stands for equal. So when we click on the EQ of the line, it's now equalized the dimensions between this spot and this spot and this spot and this spot. It's the same distance. We can see that if we hit escape a couple times on the keyboard, select on the line that makes up the EQ dimension, and underneath properties, it'll say equality text. Click where it has equality text, select the little down arrow, and then change this to be value. Move your mouse into the drawing area, and you'll now see the spacing between each of these windows. If you just click out here in space, there you'll have your dimension string. If you want to leave that, that's okay. But another thing that you can do is just select on that dimension string and hit the delete key on your keyboard. It's going to give you a warning message. Don't worry too much about this right now. Click on the OK button. What the warning message was saying is that even though the dimension is gone, these windows are going to continue to be equal no matter what happens to our drawing, whatever happens to our building. What this means is if you select on this outer wall here, now, look at your keyboard. Click the right arrow key. You'll notice if you start tapping on the right arrow key, it's going to nudge that wall over to a different location. But as you nudge that wall over, the window stays centered along whatever the length of that wall is. Go to the left again, it'll do the same thing. Now, in order to get the wall back in the location that it was at, I'm going to click and hold my mouse button down along the edge and then let go when it snaps onto that green line, and then click out in the space. You'll also notice that the window that was on this wall here actually moved out with it, and it stayed locked when you moved it back in. Now, I want to do the same thing with these windows here, but instead of having those windows be centered or equally spaced along the length of the entire wall, I want them to be evenly spaced inside of this particular room. To do that, we also need to use the Align Dimension strain. Once again, make sure wall faces is picked. Click the interior wall face, and then the interior location, or the center location in this case, of each of the windows, and the interior wall. Then select somewhere out here in space. Find that little EQ sign, click on the EQ, and it will equalize between this spot, to this spot, to this spot, to this spot. Now our windows are centered inside of the room. So, to be able to equally space your windows either along the outside of a wall or on the inside of a room, be sure to select on the Annotate command, pick the Align Dimension off of the list, pick each spot you want a dimension to, and then select the little EQ to equally space them between each of those points that you picked.